Hello developers, in this tutorial we will see how to do a service call in Flutter, cache network failures, parse the response and how to write a retry logic. So let's proceed and I will take you to my desktop. So I have a sample code ready with a small template. So I will be using VS Code as my editor. So as you see on the right side that's my template with just a simple text. So let's go ahead and do the hot reload and you can see the changes instantly in the simulator. So if you have already run the flutter run command, you just have to tap R on the terminal to reload the app. So as you see I have a column layout. So that means you can place widgets on below the other. So I have a text view right now and we are going to place a new button which will be called raise button in flutter. So we are going to raise an on press event which will be let's call it call service. Then we will define the function. Let's give a print so that it's to see if it is working. So let's go to the console and do the hot reload. So you see the button. So that's working. Let's give a label to the button. A child with a text. So the label will be another widget which is a text. Let's call it call services. Call service. Auto load. So there you go. So that's working. So I will be using this free JSON web service from jsonpriceholder.com typecode.com as you see in the browser. So I will be giving this in the description so that you can use it. You can modify as you want. So to call web services in Flutter you need to use an HTTP library. So go to pubspec.yaml file which is in your root folder and add this library. Then save it. So Flutter will load the libraries and let's reload the app. So everything is working fine. As you know our service calls should not be blocking. So we will be adding an async to the method so that it will work asynchronously. And let's call the service. Since you are using async, we have to write await. Let's import the packages. The HTTP package. Let's go ahead and import the package. The HTTP package that we just added. HTTP. Okay. Now we're going to call the HTTP get method. Then let's grab our URL. Okay. Just give it as a parameter to the get method. Seems like we are getting some error. So we are getting some error, so we are going to fix the import. There is some error with the import. So the proper one will be HTTP dot dot. Okay. So the error is gone. Now we are going to print the response. Okay. Reload. Let's see what is coming back. Okay, so that is an instance of response. So that is an object.
now we will see the status of the response and if it is see if it is we'll check if it is 200 or not so that means it's a proper response else it is an error so i'll just print error and we will print the response body this hot reload so there is a response body. Okay, now we have the response. Now we can parse the response. For that, we'll use JSON dot decode and the response body. So that will parse the JSON into a JSON object. So let's print out the ID. So it will be parsed and within brackets the key ID which you see which you already saw in the response. So let's go and reload press R so hot reload so that is the id we are giving that's the key so those are the other keys available let's see if we are getting okay let's click call service so that is it so there is the id one let's see if we can get the title as well hot reload click call service so there is the id ID and the title. So let's show the title in the text here. So we will create a variable title. String title is equal to let's say it's blank now. To show it in a widget, we have to add it to a state. So no, we don't need the init states. Let's delete that and we will set the variable first. So when you get when you are done with the service, call set state on the title. So set state title is equal to the new value. Parsed and within brackets title. Then go ahead and set it in the text view. Remove the hard coded text and give the variable name. That's it. So let's so yeah. So let's give an initial value. Let's go ahead and reload the app and just reload it from scratch initially. So it will take some time to launch the app. Hmm. There it is loading. <coughs> okay. Let's click on service and there you go. There is the title. So now let's add progress part of the app. For that we will define a variable, boolean variable is loading which is set to false. <coughs> now we will set it to true when the service, st service starts loading or when the server is being hit. And we will reset it. I think there is some error, let's check. Okay, I declared it in the wrong place. Okay, it should be inside the state. Okay, so let's reset it at the end of the service call. So there is end of service call. We'll set the state along with the title set to false. 
So loading is set to false at the end of the service call. <coughs> so when there is even error, we'll set it to false. <coughs> and it and will show a progress bar, circular progress bar when the loading is true. So <coughs> when the loading is true, it will only render whatever is inside. That is only the circular progress bar. Otherwise it will layer it will render our text view. Reload. There you go. So when you hit the click service, it will reload the app. <coughs> now we'll just do some cleanup. Let's move the set state to the end of the for error. I set the title to error or something if it is not an 200 status and we move the loading to the end of the service call All good now. So we have an unused import. Let's remove that. Okay. Let's relaunch the app. Everything good. And let's turn off the Wi Fi and see what happens. So there you go. So something wrong has happened and it's not showing the error and not, it's not even hiding the progress bar. And to fix that, let's add a try catch block. So try and a catch with an error object. And we move all our logic to inside of the try inside of the try. Okay. And we will hide, we will reset the variable or we will reset the title to error or whatever the error is coming inside the catch block. Just set it to string it now. So let's see what happens now. Let's reload the app. Hit R and reload the app. So there you go. Now it catches the exception and it shows the error. And you can have your own error. Now let's turn on the Wi Fi and try again. Okay, it's working perfect. So that's all you need to do a service call and to have a retry logic so it's that simple please leave your valuable comments below and please subscribe to my channel thank you everyone